Defense forces of Ukraine struck a Russian invader's training ground in temporarily occupied Luhansk. According to the Russian Telegram channel, Spy Dossier, which is linked to the special services, the Ukrainian armed forces struck a rear training ground on Saturday, July 27. Servicemen from the 228th Motorized Rifle Regiment of the 90th Tank Division of the Russian Armed Forces were stationed there. The servicemen were conducting a formation before being sent to reinforce the forward positions of the 228th Motorized Rifle Regiment in the area of the settlement of Cayman. The strike was carried out using Atakms type ballistic missiles, the channel writes. According to the channel's authors, as of Saturday evening, Russian losses amounted to 19 dead, 71 wounded. Ukrainian troops usually only use the Atakms missiles, which come from American stocks, against high-value targets. It is possible that the cluster of troops near Luhansk had previously been detected by a reconnaissance drone. The United Kingdom is considering developing long-range missiles capable of destroying Russian nuclear weapons, as fears grow in Europe that Russian dictator Vladimir Putin may be ready to use them, the Times reports. Diplomatic sources of the news agency said that the UK has made it clear that it will work with Germany to create a weapon with a range of about 3,200 kilometers. The Allies assume that this weapon will be able to fly from Berlin to Moscow if Putin decides to launch tactical nuclear weapons. UK Defence Secretary John Healy is believed to have discussed the project with his German counterpart in Berlin on Wednesday, July the 24th. He was there as part of a 48-hour diplomatic tour of Europe to strengthen cooperation between the UK and its allies and promote its NATO first defence strategy. The long-range missiles will be deployed in Germany, replacing the US missiles that will be deployed there in the coming years. According to a diplomatic source, recent Putin statements and others indicate that Russia is lowering the threshold for the use of tactical nuclear weapons. This month, the United States and Germany announced that US long-range missiles will be periodically stationed in Germany starting in 2026 for the first time since the Cold War. The decision which provoked an angry reaction from Moscow was announced during the NATO summit in Washington. Since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Russian officials and media have regularly threatened to use nuclear weapons against various countries around the world. According to experts from the Institute for the Study of War, such actions are aimed at intimidating Western politicians into taking actions favorable to Russia. The communique issued following the June G7 summit states that Russia will face serious consequences if it dares to use nuclear or chemical weapons. But Russian officials have repeatedly threatened to use nuclear weapons against Western countries. In particular, in February, Vladimir Putin said that his country could demonstrate an intercontinental ballistic missile SAMAT capable of carrying a nuclear charge. Ukrainian military intelligence spokesman Andriy Yusov believes that the Russian army's weakest point is the lack of modern weapons and equipment as well as problems with the manpower recruitment plan. He said this during the telethon. Such estimates are made on the basis of large losses in manpower and equipment in the Russian forces and means. They can replenish these losses, but there are already serious problems with the recruitment of new contract soldiers. And the aggressor state is coming up with new incentives at various levels to attract new cannon fodder. But this machine is starting to malfunction, Yusov said. According to him, the Russians also have issues with the plan to recruit manpower, which will definitely have an impact on the situation at the front. He believes that Russia's weakest point is the lack of modern means, weapons and equipment. Currently, Russia is focused on decommissioning and modernizing old Soviet weapons, but there are difficulties with the production of new equipment, in particular because of the sanctions policy. Access to modern electronic systems, optics, communication systems, the enemy still has significant problems with all this, Yusov noted. 
Recall that Russia's oil refineries are proving highly vulnerable to Ukrainian drone attacks and the domestic oil and gas sector faces a formidable challenge as Kyiv's ambitions and capability increase, industry and defense sources in and outside Russia have said. Some 16 Russian refineries have been hit, some multiple times, as well as the Ust-Luga condensate plant, numerous fuel depots and parts of Novorossiysk port. The drones used for such long-distance strikes differ from those on the battlefield and demonstrate some kind of good guidance system likely involving satellite technology or image recognition software, a long-standing Moscow-based defense analyst told S&P Global Commodity Insights requesting anonymity. The Ukrainians see what they're hitting and Russia does not have good ways of countering such attacks, the analyst said. The Ukrainians can easily produce more drones than Russia can produce defensive measures. The geography of these attacks is going to spread, 